322 village apartment in Burbank. I am part of me living alone. Because I want to, I don't like to weigh the rest of my life with women. I want to be married to a woman. Give her money to her just so she can pay the bills. <laughs> because she, uh, I am obeying the law of my men. I am obeying the law of my men. What do you think you are living in 322 village apartments? I was not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, uh, I was tending to my crops, <laughs> and, uh, and, this, and this llama came up to me and was like, What the fuck are you doing on my farm? And I was like, This is my farm, llama. Get the fuck off my farm. He's like, I cannot. If I get off my farmland, Animal control will come get me and sell me as a slave. And I was like, Llama, please. <laughs> it's the 21st century. There are no more llama slaves. And the thing he reminded me that we were actually in the third century. I just forgot because I have Alzheimer's. But I'm not, but I'm not old. And the llama, so the llama reminded me of the third century. And the thing is, back then. The llama did own that land, I just forgot. And I was his slave. So for 40 days and 40 nights, I was, the next 40 days and 40 nights, I was just on his floor, hands and knees scrubbing, while he was bathing in Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I don't even like Dr. Pepper, but that told me that he was in a much higher uh, social class than I was. <laughs> I tried to get back at him by taking a shit in his Dr. Pepper, but it turns out llamas just love rolling and shit. <laughs> It became, it became a permanent job. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy now. I love big buns. Sometimes I take picture of my buns. I told her my like worst Satanist dreams. Like my drug dealer told me that the gods killed all the Native Americans. So because she loved God, she was all upset. She said, Alex, you know I'm going to give you a weapon for that. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I can deal with this. And those wet memories have plagued me for the rest of my life. Because when I come in this bar, I'm only sitting by myself over there in the corner. <laughs> I'm tired of me being a one day, one, one sitting cookie. And a woman. <laughs> we think we're coming into your bar, and, and, a, and a woman, and a woman sit right down there. Oh yeah, that's what I like. <laughs> So then he slit my throat, put me in the trunk, and there I am, riding. But right now I'm not riding. That's right, I'm plotting. Real names are becoming retro. It's all about your username, Abe, MySpace all that stuff. So, it's, names are becoming old. Donald Trump. It's like, fuck you, Dad. My name's X, Fur Dog X 42. It's almost like when you're in the restroom standing by your manager in the urinal and he asks to see your penis while you tinkle. Okay. Uh, so, Dog the Bounty Hunter followed me on Twitter last night. He sent me a message titled A, A Y E, message, white boy. <laughs> Fucking racist. So I figured out how to pick up any language. You just gotta be loud. Gracias! <laughs> Is it wrong?
for me to be having thoughts of the skin revealing photo a willing woman sent me via the miracles of text messaging while I just so happened to be attending a toddler soccer practice. I wasn't trying to brandish some sort of trauma-inducing weapon of fear. No, I was celebrating. Celebrating the miraculous abilities my mind has over my blood. Because we need to teach the kids passion, people. There needs to be more passion on this stage. Thank you very much, Brian Mighty Water, for as long as I'm breathing. Keep going. So, uh, so I kind of find I found out how to get your own herd of fat people. Now, what you do is you go to the mall, right? You get like a bunch of trail mix. You crumble it up in your hand. You put it in your pocket. You walk through the mall, and all these fat people start smelling the food in your pocket. So you keep on walking through the mall, you get a nice big herd of just a bunch of fat fucking people. You just, you know, come on, come on. Okay, so once you get to the top of the mall, you put your face in the corner of a wall, and you bend over, and you say, come. And they all climb to your, your anal rectus, and they all start smelling. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you guys remember that Disney show, Mike Super Short Show, but I went over to that kid's house and man, he has a lot of porn. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you, Antonio. Peace, crap. Keep it good, positive energy, let's go! And there's no outro music. Yeah! Jacking off! Oh, daddy's jacking off! <laughs>